It's a place that God made. Six hundred black savage. It's over east. You wanna come find us? Yeah. You hear me? You can find me over east, where we always lose the sleep. Where the devil likes to creep, and these bitches are not sheep. You can find me over east. Welcome back to another episode of the Way You Wear Show. 2020. We here with a female artist from Baltimore. Tell them what part of Baltimore you from. Tell them your name. I'm Bree Snow. I'm here officially from West Baltimore all day. Born and raised. Okay, how long you been doing music? I've been doing music for about six years now, on and off, but officially, like two and a half years ago, three years ago now, 2020. <laughs> but you know, like, people do music. Tell, tell, tell them about that song that you got out, that, that, that video on the YouTube. Realist. The Realist. Mm-hmm. Yo, like, people do music, and then it's people that sound like they made to do music like you know like the bars and everything like it's like you really put time in so like what does that come from like what does that talent come from you been doing that yeah i mean i've always was a poet back in like i don't know i probably started writing poetry in like elementary school playing around with words i was always good at english all this all the way up through high school really so um i was always good with words and them in poems and stuff like that all the way through high school. And then a friend of mine, back when I graduated, recommended that I put it on some hip hop beats. And I liked it. So from there, it just came a little hobby. But I stopped. It's probably like, I don't know, 2011 maybe. I stopped and then I started back again, like two and a half years ago. So what you think about it? You think you're going to really pursue it or you just like having fun with it? Um, at the moment, I'm kind of just having fun with it, just trying to see what my lane is, what I like, you know, what kind of music I like to get on, because if you listen to my album, Snowball Effect, which is out now, you know, everywhere, <laughs> um, I kind of play around with beats a lot, and I was still trying to find, like, my actual tone, you know, since I'm a poet, I'm kind of a perfectionist. So you also manage, right? Yeah, at the same time, I like helping other artists because I kind of like to be away from the camera. A lot of people don't know that about me, but I don't like being the center of attention, <laughs> which is why I'm a little, <laughs> whatever. But, um, yeah, so I like to be away, you know, so I like uplifting other people, especially when I see the talent, which is another reason why we're here today, so. And you got an artist here today, and you want to introduce him? Um, yes. At the moment, I'm kind of focused on one artist in particular because he is known to come out with banger after banger, which is what my a and is, you know. So that's kind of the way I'm trying to go. <laughs> but that's another topic. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I listened to him, and I just couldn't stop agreeing with everything he says because he's somewhat like myself. He paints pictures, you know, and I can't help but to, you know, see vivid pictures on the walls, you know, paint my own picture, put myself in someone else's shoes. So, um, you know, I support him 100%, and that's the reason why we're here today, just so he can kind of get his word out there and tell people a little bit about himself, where he's from, what he represents. You know, in the last couple of years, like, especially in Baltimore City, like, it's been like a surgence of like female artists, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, any, any, um, some good ones, some real ones, because there's a couple of them out there. I'm not going, you know, disrespect none of the ladies out there, because there's some hard workers, and I respect hard work and dedication 100%. <laughs> so, 100 for them, but yeah, um, but for real, like on some real, you know, just kind of spitting their truth, you know. I definitely agree with you 100% that it's the kind of, it's like, it's a few out there around in Baltimore that's really repping, like, you know, what's really going on. You, and I, you know. You think it, it could be better? You think it's, 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 it's good where it's at? Um, I definitely think it's good where it's at if we collectively, you know, started uplifting our community together because a lot of the women are separated and they kind of, like, are shadowed out, you know, in, in their own cliques. And I feel like if we all came together, we could be a movement. 
So um, I think we're good where we at if we actually like took it a step further. But um, we can definitely go way further than just right here in Baltimore City. Do you feel like that whole clicking up thing is like something that y'all uh, like adopted because like the men do it, you know, the men do the same thing. So it's kind of like y'all feel like y'all got to do that too? I mean, to an extent, yeah, because I feel like if we had men that were standing by our side a lot more, we could also feel that bridge right there. So I feel like that will also help, you know, I don't want to ramble about it, but I feel like that will also help our black women in our community and women in our community in general because um, we can uplift our sisterhood, you know. We're more than just pussy, sorry, excuse my lingo. We're more than just what's between our legs. You know, we can offer a lot more to the men in our community and the women. You know, this is the Where You At show, so it's like, it's really a lot of meaning behind where you at. So it's like, it's where can we see ourselves at in the future, you know, bettering our, you know, our, our community, bettering our culture. So like, it's good that you even have answers like that because people need to hear that, you feel me? Absolutely, like, absolutely. Um, I feel like if we started with our youth, you know, and started raising them the right way, I feel like it starts at home, you know, because the parenting is always broken. And if that is the ground, the foundation of how everything is built, you know what I mean? I feel like it would start a whole different path. So I feel like we came together and started raising our babies since we keep having babies you know, and making sure that they have a good upbringing, you know, and then it is spread away to like school systems, hopefully, and stuff like that. So like, I feel like we gotta start at home. My name is Trey Blair. I mean, I reside from East Baltimore, but I've been all over. You can catch me on the 600 block of Savage Street. That's, that's official. This is 600, they call me. That's where you at, huh? Yeah, that's what I brought. My, that's my that's my that's my that's my lane right there. Even though I don't live there, I've lived there. I went to school there. I was born there. Little John Hines went to Jarura, six hundred. <laughs> Talk about your music that you got coming, bro. It's like it's a music that's coming. I had just people be sleeping on people. That's okay. Support. That's all I do. And my time will come. But a lot of my music represents me. That's why I don't consider myself a rapper. Now nah, look at this. My, my my platform, bro, is about this. The camera's on you, so you got you you pushing your music. So like, whoever see this, they automatically a fan if they like it or not, cause they watching it. So just first of all, let's just talk about how long you've been doing music. I want to say about this around three years. Three years. That's kind of fresh. What what got you into it? Uh, I was homeless, living in a basement. And I came home from jail, and my homeboy, he had a record studio, nigga HG, shout out to my man Brick. Uh, he basically gave me a single. Like, I, I literally, I live in East Baltimore. I walk to South Baltimore to make studio time, bro. I, I dedicated myself. Like, I even got on these people's wings to learn how to start, 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 start uh, how to perform. Uh, like, I was, I was uh, uh, somebody's hype man before I even. Like, I, I, I learned how to play the game before I jumped head in. You know what I mean? Because I never jumped head in. I jumped foot first. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. So it sounds like you really, uh, like... Formulated my, my plot, you, yeah. you thinking about longevity in, in the music, in the music I business. I about longevity for everything in my life. Like, it, it's not about tomorrow. It's about next year. But sometimes you can't make it to next year. But if you say goals, you... Like, I always achieve my goals at the end of the day. No matter how much shit I go through, no matter how much shit I fall through, at the end of the day, or at the end of the month, or wherever that I had to pay or get through, I get through. I set goals for myself. So describe your music, bro. Like, how you describe your music? Me. Is, is it, is it? You get all of me. Like, like. So be a mix, would it bro, I, I be street, it be love, I songs? Occasion, yo. I would sit at a table, something happened, and I just made a song instantly about somebody. And it, it became a hit, and niggas love it in DC. Like it, like swear to God, I, I can't make this up. Like my man, shout out to my man, little lucky, my man, little nigga, like ain't no, and the motherfucker singing that song. Like people don't believe me, said fuck it. Like ever since I did music, people changed them. But it's cool, it's cool. I am dedicated to the fans that I have, even if it be like fifteen or five people. 
they show true support, and that's why I show true support. Yeah, well, everybody, everybody start start off like that. Your biggest rapper started off with one fan, but how you how you feel like that we could better the the culture in Baltimore as far as really supporting each other as far as pushing music and just the music business period be, yeah, where it could be. each other. Don't talk about it, be about it. Like don't, when somebody shares your shit, don't just share that they shared your shit. That just makes them look like they're a follower. Make them a leader too. Like I don't, like I try to become a leader and a boss because some people want to work with people and some people want to make pass. Like, and I'm, I'm, I want to help people do both. Do you feel like they just, people just feel like they want to be the first one to say that they got on instead of saying people we got on? One. People always want to be the first one. They only care about themselves. My last song I just dropped from back in my studio said we in the whole song. Go look, check my IG, TR3 underscore B-L-A-I-R. Like, it says we in the whole song the whole time. But there's no we around me sometimes. It's just me. But when I make it on, they're going to be grabbing and then I'll be the bad guy from what I used to be because I done had my hand out so many times and So you not so you never got to really collab with any artist of artists and shit? And I try to. Why well, know uh Rico uh Rico Reed? Yeah. No, no. Uh Rico thirty seven hundred. Why well, know the baby? Uh Ferrari Mari, Lil Lucky MSR, Steve Guy, me and little niggas like People that I actually grew up with, and I, if that happens to me, it's gonna happen to them. Like I don't try to reach out to famous people to do shit for me. Like I don't. I want to. If we gonna be together, make this. We gonna be together. Like how do you think Crime Mob made it, or or Master P? Like yeah, they, Atlanta, they, they Atlanta artists, period. Like like Atlanta artists, they stick together, man. Like they, they bring each other up, man. They all getting support. money. They only support the fact that you support them. They don't support you. At the end of the day, when it comes to you. Everything breaks down to you make it happen. And you know, this is a sad thing, but it's the truth. All right, so like, where do you see yourself? In, I mean, taking taking your music. Like, how far you want to see yourself going? Turn on paid it on stage. Paid on stage. What major label or, no. or or just independent? Independent. Me major what, label. What do you mean, like Chance the Rapper? Huh? Like like Chance the Rapper or something? You know, Chance Chance. He on big stages, but that, he independent. I want to I wanna be his competition, no offense to him. He, he, he probably lives down on me. I don't look now. Nah, I, tr- I don't trust nobody's argument because if you come from the streets, anybody can go for a couple of hours. I'm good. I'm worried about me, myself, and I, and mine that's coming with me. If you, don't, if, you, if you can't support like the way I support you, then don't be around me because it's, a cold, it's, a, it's the coldest world out there. Trust me. I right, so what, what, what projects you got coming? A couple things. I got two mixtapes about to drop, but I don't know if I'm going to drop them because I got to get them right. If I'm going to tell my story, everybody's going to listen, I'm going to do it right. I'm tired of putting a date for somebody for not to care. When I used to tag people and shit, they used to get mad, like, don't tag me and that shit. I'm like, bro, you dropping ass pics. It's my hard-earned music that I paid for. So I'm like, I'm, I'm Gucci. Like, I'm, I'm going to drop it just... Like my fans, like my supporters, like I, I got a difference between fans and supporters. My supporters show themselves. My fans, they like to watch haters or not. You know, like, they like, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm so change the game my way, but not worry about the old game because I'm gonna create my own game right in front of them. So, what, so what advice can you give to you know up and coming artists like you know, you know younger up and coming artists so they don't make the you know Do the you same mistakes. Be humble, bro. God's will, bro. It's like in the NBA. Ain't nobody, everybody ain't gonna make it. But if you show faith and you got it, you gonna get it. Just don't be phony. You gonna fall. Tell people where they can find you at on your social media. You can find me only on Instagram at tr3 underscore b l a i r. Oh, all right, man. Reporting live, man. East Baltimore. Six hundred shit. Where you at, Yeah.